Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mike. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be talking about five different ideas to help you take your drone footage to the next level. I have to admit most of the things that I'll be talking about in today's video are things you probably already know. If you have been flying drones for a while, you probably know them. Uh, but believe it or not, I get these questions all the time from new subscribers people who are joining the hobby now and are looking for a quick way to get better shots. So this is my little answer to all these questions. I hope the new people joining the channel are going to find this video useful and informative. If you are enjoying the, this type of content, feel free to drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. But with that being said, let's not waste any more time and jump straight into my five ideas to take your drone footage to the next level. The first and in my opinion most interesting use case for drone cinematography is to look for interesting patterns from above. And really anything goes in this category whether it's interesting shapes, long shadows, a new perspective or just a nice angle of something interesting. All of these would help you make your video more appealing. Even a simple thing as the crashing waves qualifies for this. Remember that even if you shoot on a familiar place that you know very well, a simple downward 90 degree tilt on your camera immediately gives you an angle which you probably haven't seen before. Take these saltworks for example. From the ground they didn't look like anything special to me and I couldn't even see their colors. But as soon as I got up in the air and made a top down shot with my drone, I saw all the epicness of this place. There are so many abstract shapes and colors that you don't know of and the beauty of flying a drone is that you can rediscover all the places around you and see them in a very unique way. If you shoot during the golden hour, take advantage of the long shadows that all objects make. That in itself creates an additional layer of depth in your footage and certainly adds to the whole cinematic feel of it. These long shadows are formed early in the morning when the sun is still low or in the minutes before the sunset. If you can, always take advantage of the light during the golden hour which not only gives more depth to your shots but also softens the whole image because the light is not as harsh as the one during noon for example. In relation to that first point I would also add to always look for the symmetry in your shots. Maybe that's just my OCD speaking but there's just no way for me to see a straight line and not keep it in the middle of my shot when possible. That division creates a nice symmetry which is always more pleasing for the eye and it also creates a natural separation in the shot making it look more appealing. Something that you can do to improve the symmetry in your shots is to turn on your grid lines in the drone camera settings. That way you can easily adjust the position of your drone to match the lines of the object you want to keep centered in your footage and fine tune your positioning very precisely. My third idea is to find an interesting point of interest and use the parallax effect while circling around it. That's a technique widely used in Hollywood movies to make a bigger impact. The parallax effect in a nutshell is the movement of the background while keeping your main object in focus and in the middle of the frame. That extra compression in the back is what really makes the shot come to life as it's extremely dynamic and definitely creates that hero shot that we've seen multiple times in the movies. To take advantage of this technique you can use the point of interest mode in your drone, use a circle quick shot or simply fly manually around that object. There are multiple ways to do it but the result is always impressive. Next on the list, fly low. For some reason many people have this idea that just because they have a drone they always need to fly it extremely high in the sky to the point that you don't even see what's going on on the ground. Which is definitely not the case. Both flying high and flying low have their pros and cons of course but in this video we'll focus on flying low. Controlling the drone while flying close to the ground creates an incredible sense of speed, dynamic and action even if the speed you're reaching is not very high. It almost feels pointless not to use that to your advantage and not incorporate that technique in your flying style. That's one of the reasons why I fly FPV so much nowadays because of the rush of adrenaline and the possibility to go close to any obstacle I want, but you can also achieve great results even with just a Mavic. Flying low of course could be dangerous and there are some precautions you need to take such as knowing your surroundings very well, being aware of potential obstacles and of course not flying close to people. Finally, use the reveal shot technique to improve the dynamic of your videos by creating a suspense and not firing all of your bullets at once so to speak. One of my favorite techniques for introduction shot 
is to do this reveal shot which starts looking low at the ground or behind some sort of obstacle. Then, as you continue moving, you tilt your camera up to reveal the main object or the environment you will be showcasing in your video. Not showing it directly actually is beneficial for you as it also creates an impact for the viewer, keeping them wondering what's going to happen next. It's a small and simple thing, but in my opinion, it brings big results. Some ideas for a reveal shot is to get behind a tree, a building or something something else blocking your view, then use it while going over or around it to introduce the object behind. Fly as smoothly as possible to avoid any jitters and sharp movements, because the reveal shot is all about smoothness. Adjust your gimbal pitch speed and gimbal smoothness if necessary to fine tune how quickly and how smoothly your gimbal moves up and down. This will greatly help you with your reveal shots. And there you guys have it. I hope these five tips are going to be beneficial for you and help you along the way to become a better drone pilot. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to show it to me by dropping a like, maybe a comment, why not subscribe for future drone content like this and be on the lookout for a very special video coming next Sunday, November 15th. It's a big project of mine with the code name Oxygen. I'm very excited about it and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. I'll catch you very soon. Take care, bye bye.